Hello everybody, welcome back to another Fantasy Wax Melts new releases video. Today is our final Halloween release. Today is Friday, September 27th at 3 p.m. Central Time. We will have our last full Halloween themed release and I'm so sad but also so excited because this is such a good collection so i have a full collection for you guys and a mini collection really looking forward to it before i get into it definitely be sure to join our facebook group if you're not a part of it already there's so much more information on the facebook group i definitely suggest it as well as follow us on instagram for some sneak peeks and tiktok all of those will be linked down below. So let's go ahead and jump into our new releases today. So up first we have a mini release of six of our mini chunk bags. I really have been wanting to do a classic monsters collection for a really long time. I love universal classic monsters. They're some of my favorites and so I thought it'd be really fun to do them as chunk bags. So let's go ahead and go through them. Up first we have Dracula in a red and black chunks. This is a blend of warm vanilla sugar, flannel type, and and Malo Fireside. I wanted this to still be a little masculine, but I just think warm vanilla sugar always just adds that extra like oomph to a blend. It is just so stinking good. And that's what I imagined Dracula to be. And this is just so fantastic. It is very manly, mm, but it is so fantastic. That flannel type really, really shines. If you love flannel, you're going to love this blend. It is so, so good. So that is our Dracula. Next up, we have Frankenstein's Monster. I did it as a mint green and white because the next one, I'll explain. For Frankenstein's Monster, this is a blend of pumpkin bourbon donuts and espresso. I have done a blend previously that was like pumpkin donuts and then like maple bourbon, but this is just one single oil of pumpkin bourbon donuts and then I added the espresso. It's good. It gives very coffee shop in the fall vibes. Mmm. It's so, so good. Very coffee forward if you love coffee. A very rich coffee, especially with that espresso. It's so fantastic. So that is Frankenstein's Monster. And then like I said, I did mint green and white because I also have the Bride of Frankenstein. She is also mint green, but she has pink as well. And I wanted to keep this one like a little bit girly. So this is a blend of cornbread, zucchini bread, cupcakes at Tiffany's, and birthday cake. I knew I wanted to have cupcakes at Tiffany's in this. I don't know why. That's what I associated with the Bride of Frankenstein. But that's what I thought it would be so good and I think that addition of the cornbread really brings a little bit of a fall Like kind of salty bready note to this. It's so good, especially with zucchini bread, too This is such a great blend. Oh, I love this one so much. This is very good like rich deep bakery This is the bride of Frankenstein. Next up, we have the wolfman in a couple different shades of brown And this is a really good blend as well I mean to be fair, I think they're all really really good, but this is leaves type pie crust and zucchini bread I love pie crust so so much. I think blended with anything It just adds that extra layer of baked goodness and I feel the same exact way about zucchini bread so putting them together Mm, plus that leaves type it is so good. It's like a bakery leaves type. It is so fantastic So that is wolfman except we have the mummy I just did this in a cream color because I thought it made sense the blend This is another good classic blend. This is powdered donuts sweet bakery dough and zucchini bread If you were a fan of those like basic blends that aren't basic at all. They are so like Deliciously complex in a way that no one else can understand you're going to love this this is so good. I can imagine this being melted around my house all of the time, especially with company over, because it just makes your house smell so warm and just like cozy. I love this one. So that is Mummy. Then last for our classic monsters, we have the creature from the Black Lagoon. I did it as a lime and orange because that's the colors and I thought it was really fun. And I figured since this is the creature from the Black Lagoon, I wanted to do kind of like a kind of like a mossy scent. So this is blue sugar blended with currant and oak moss. Currant and oak moss is a single oil that I sent out as a freebie probably months ago at this point and I've gotten a few requests to bring it to shop and I felt like blended with blue sugar that absolutely gives Creature from the Black Lagoon vibes. Oh and it's so good. I love this one so much. It's very clean smelling, very current. It's just oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So that is the Creature from the Black Lagoon. That is our little Classic Monsters mini collection. The next collection that I have is our full collection. It is our full witchy themed release and i'm really excited i really wanted to hone in on some like witchy things some characters that are like my favorite witches from fiction because i've just been really obsessed with reading about witches lately and i wanted to bring it into the shop so first things first with the witchy collection i wanted to do some of my favorite fictional witches and some of your favorites as well so at first we have sanderson 
obviously inspired by the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. This is going to be in a tombstone shape. These are quite large. These are perfect. And this is a blend of Cafe Vienna, Celtic Moon Spice, and Toasted Mallow. I think Celtic Moon Spice blended with any coffee is just so good. So I really wanted to do it with Cafe Vienna because Cafe Vienna is one of my favorite coffee scents. It's like a caramel coffee. It is just so good. Mmm. This is fantastic. And then that oh, freaking Toasted Mallow. This is so delicious. This is one of my favorites. This is Sanderson. Up next we have Hollywell. This is inspired by the Hollywell sisters from Charmed. These are going to be available in our Halloween square. So these are kind of like square soap molds and then I just put these really cute little Halloween shapes on top. There's a variety of them. This one just has the ghost and the pumpkin but these are just so stinking cute and I love the navy and the burgundy together. This is such a good blend. I've done yellow cake and caramelized pralines together but this is yellow cake, caramelized pralines, and pumpkin pie just to give it a little fall spin. This one's really, really good. As y'all see, I clearly love the bakery scents. And this one's so good. I think the pumpkin pie edition really goes so well with that caramelized pralines and the yellow cake just adds an extra cakey note to this. This is fantastic. So this is Hollywell. Next up, we have a two pack of our clouds. This is in Owens. Again, the Owens sisters from Practical Magic. And this is a blend of lavender mallow, pink sugar, and jelly donut. I think all three of these notes they just make sense together. They're just so good. I love pink sugar. I love lavender mallow. I love jelly donut. And I think together they just combine to make the most beautiful, like girly, sweet, mm, like creamy from the mallow. This is fantastic. So this is Owens. Next we have Cromwell. This is inspired by the Cromwell witches from Halloween Town. These are available in our new shape. So these are ghosts. I have two here because there's two different ones. There's this little ghost trick-or-treating in a little cowboy hat and then this one is a little superhero ghost. Thankfully they both weigh the same so it'll be fun to see which one you get. But Cromwell, this is another fantastic blend. Almond pastries, glazed donuts, and funnel cake. I love almond pastries and mixing it with glazed donuts and funnel cake. Are you joking? This is, this is so top tier. Just pick up two, just pick up two. I promise you, this is so good, especially if you love almond scents. This is like a baked almond. This is, oh, this is so good. This is Cromwell. And then the last of like the witches is Spellman. Spellman, Sabrina, duh, um, comes in two options. You can either get the large waffle, which I love. These are just so easy to break, or the two pack of the heart waffles. And Spellman is a blend of amaretto, vanilla ice cream, and pumpkin pecan waffles. Again, with the almond, I feel like almond mixed with like pumpkin is so different, but it just works so well. And I feel like the vanilla ice cream, again, just adds that like creamy layer to it. This is so good. Very amaretto heavy. So if you do like amaretto, you're going to like this. But with the pumpkin pecan waffles, it's just such a hit. This is so good. This is Spellman. Next, we just have some various witchy things. First, we have Familiar. Familiar is, of course, the two-pack paws with little pink, little pink beans, which are so cute. This is a blend of pumpkin pecan waffles, glazed donuts, and ice cream scoop bread. I have been loving pumpkin pecan waffles blended with glazed donuts this, I almost said this spring this season it is so good and then you add in that ice cream scoop bread mm, this is so fantastic i love this it's like a it's like a almost like a creamy pumpkin bakery oh that is so good that is familiar next up we have salem salem is just a cute little orange pumpkin i love these pumpkin shapes they're perfect this is a blend that was requested but i needed to bring it to shop because it has one of my favorite fall single oils ever it was coming to shop no matter what but with this blend it is so good blueberry pumpkin patch my personal favorite fall oil mixed with oatmeal cookies this is such a standout blend it is so good i think blueberry pumpkin patch is fantastic if you don't like bakery pumpkin and if you don't like super fruity blueberry i think you would like this because together they just make the most like the most ultimate blueberry pumpkin scent and then you blend in that oh, oh my god that's so good the oatmeal cookies just adds like a little cinnamon a little cookie this is just i'm telling you you're going to love this one this is salem next we have another shape another new shape which i'm so excited about this is our two pack baths these are emerald they're so pretty i was gonna do them as a single like shape just sell them single but they don't weigh that much so i was like ooh, let me just put two together and i just think they look so cute together this is book of shadows i was a little bit inspired by charmed this is oh this is a good blend blackberry jam butter cookies cafe c and spiced oat milk I think blackberry jam butter cookies blended with any coffee scent is just so wildly amazing and so underrated. This is so 
good. Plus you get the cutest little bats and they're super easy just to break apart. So book of shadows, this is a good one. Next up we have Coven for Coven. I did this like gray cake slice, which I think is so pretty. And this is a blend of apple pie, crackling birch and cinnamon sugar donuts. I think this is also a good blend to kind of take you into the winter time too, because I feel like crackling birch, it's good for the fall, but I just envision it as a winter scent. And it's just so good with that apple pie too. I think the apple pie and the cinnamon sugar donuts really make this such a bakery scent, but that crackling birch just adds a little tree note to this. That is just so good. I'm obsessed with this one. So this is Coven. Next up we have Witching Hour. Witching Hour is in this massive, I don't even know if you can see, skull shape. These are huge. This is a blend of roasted pine cones, toasted mallow, and cinnamon sugar. So kind of along the same line as the Coven scent, but this one has roasted pine cones. And then the toasted mallow just really adds that creamy note to this. And then cinnamon sugar, which just, again, just brings in a little extra fall. Mm. They definitely smell very different. I think this one is so good too. This is another one I feel like you could melt around your entire house when you have company coming over. And they would just like get that little hint of cinnamon and they'd be like, wow, it smells really like nice in here. I really like this one. That's witching hour. Next up we have Witch's Brew. Witch's Brew is available in our souffles. They are layered. So they're three different colors. They're black, purple, and green. And then I did put a little bit of glitter and stuff on top because it's super cute, a little reminiscent of old times. This is a really great blend. And this definitely gives me very Witch's Brew vibes. It's apple cider, oak, and cinnamon. It's so good. I've never used these oils before together at least. And it's just so good. That apple cider, it really reminds me of up cider lane a little bit, but it's a little bit more pronounced. It also really reminds me of mold cider. So if you like the mold cider oil, I think you'd like this too. Mm, but that is Witch's Brew. It smells so stinking good. And last but certainly not least, we have Basic Witch. I thought this was funny. I wanted to do a play on words. Obviously, Basic Witch is a phrase that's been said a lot, but I did it as the three piece autumn because everyone loves autumn. And then these are three scent notes that I feel are very basic fall but they work so well together pumpkin spice latte pumpkin pecan waffles and pie crust this is so good i'm so serious i'll take it any day of the week these are so good this is such a basic fall scent but you need to have it it is fantastic i'm obsessed with this one so that is everything coming today at 3 p.m central time in our shop i am so excited but also so sad that like halloween is over for our shop we are moving still kind of into the fall anytime sense but Christmas is coming guys, I'm a little nervous, but I hope you guys are as excited for this release as I am. Definitely let me know what you plan on picking up today and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.